Right. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about fining now, um, or clarification. And this is a technique that I basically know from winemaking, um, and I've applied it to um, perfume. Um, as you know, when we work with naturals, particularly the concretes and absolutes, there are a lot of uh, waxes called stearates, <clears throat> and they basically make the product very, very cloudy and gloopy. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to do fining. Now, the principle behind uh, fining is to remove any particles that are in suspension. Now, in, uh, traditionally, uh, when they're fining wines, uh, you can either introduce something sticky, so for example, egg whites are used quite a lot, so that after, after you, you have a barrel of wine and it will have tiny particles in there, um, you know, bits of grape skin mostly, and the particles are so small that they're not heavy enough to fall out of suspension. So if you introduce something sticky like an egg white, as the egg white goes down through the wine, all the particles it touches sticks to it and it will sink to the bottom. So that's one principle. What we've got here is fuller's earth. It's also known as bentonite. It's basically pure dried clay. It is an incredibly fine powder. And we're going to use this for fining. The process is actually very simple. So what I have here is a bottle of vanilla extract. And those of you who are familiar with genuine vanilla rather than the food essence will know that it's very, very cloudy, it's dark, and um, it's got a wonderful smell, um, but it doesn't look very pretty in a perfume. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my, my extract, which is the prepared aged alcohol with the vanilla. Um, absolute in there, okay? So, what I'm going to do is to introduce a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of this bentonite clay into there and I'm just using a funnel so that it goes in the bottle rather than up my nose and all over the desk. Okay. So we've got about half a teaspoon There we go, half a teaspoon in there. Now, I'm gonna put the lid on the bottle and shake it vigorously. And now, I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight. Morning. <clears throat> I hope you slept better than I did. Coffee would be nice. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Very kind. Oh, right, just a couple of minutes to... Mmm. Uh... Good. Oh, right. So, this has been in the refrigerator overnight. The reason that I put it into the fridge is that obviously the cooler it is, the more solid it goes. And so by putting it into the fridge, um, as you know, if you heat um, a concrete or an absible, uh, an absible, an absolute, it becomes um, mobile, i.e. you can pour it to varying degrees. Um, so conversely, by chilling it, you make it more solid. And so the reason I do it, put it in the fridge overnight, is to, is to give it a really good time to cool, which encourages as much of the wax as possible to solidify. It binds with the bentonite, and then it will sink to the bottom as sediment, okay? So now all we need to do is to filter it. Now, coffee filter papers are not fine enough. This bentonite, um, or fuller's earth, the clay, is so fine it will just pass straight through a, um, a normal coffee filter. So what we have here is a, is a specialist 
filter paper and I'm going to show you how to fold it to put it into the funnel. It's actually pretty straightforward, okay? So, we fold it into quarters, like so. Okay, and then we open it up and we have a nice little circle. Now these filter papers, they come in different sizes and we've got different funnels. This is just a small um, amount here, so we have a small funnel. So you see it just pops inside like so. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour carefully the vanilla extract <clears throat> through this funnel and hopefully it should be very, very clear. So I'm using a, a, a Pyrex beaker so that you can see. See, it actually takes quite a while for it to go through just because the filters is, is so fine. bloody cold. <clears throat> okay, so when I'm filtering perfumes, see for example, um, this is one of my perfumes called Fauve, which has got lots of um, nice heavy oriental uh, ingredients. I don't know if you can see, this is, this is another batch of it which has also been chilled overnight. And I don't know if you can see how at the bottom there's a slightly white, there's a slightly white rim. And that's basically the bentonite that, that's sunk to the bottom. So all, all the perfume above here is completely clear. Um, I can probably show you that by uh, just drawing some up into a pipette. Um, I don't want to filter this yet, it's going to, it's going to stand. Now, the other thing is that um, um, I always add a small amount of water to my perfumes, okay? Now, that's not because I'm mean and stingy. Um, it's because it really helps um, the profile of the fragrance and it also makes the alcohol kinder to the skin. So, I always add the water before filtration because that minimizes the waste, okay? Because um, some of your, your blend, whether it's an extract or whether it's a perfume, will be retained by the, the filter paper and of course the bentonite. So what I'd normally do with this, let's just see how clear this is, because this is a really, um, Yeah, incidentally, um, one of the things when using pipettes is that you don't want to um, stick the pipette too far um, into the liquid. Otherwise, when you pull it out, you've got a lot that's running down the outside. If you're trying to measure accurately to put it into a small bottle, you get all the stuff on the outside running down, which is, of course, a waste and it's a mess. But I don't know if you can see that, that's beautifully clear. Um, and yet it was like a mud bath before it went into the, um, went into the fridge. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, incidentally, in terms of continuity, um, when I make a new batch of a, of a perfume, I will also uh, introduce a small amount from an older batch. Um, that basically is an idea that I got from malt whiskey makers um, in their blending. 
and um, it really seems to help the maturation process of the, 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 the newer whiskey or the newer perfume if it has a really nicely uh, aged and mellow um, <clears throat> bit. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so that's it about finding infiltration and um, I'm going to try and get some warm coffee, but I guess I'll have to make it myself. <laughs>